Trivia fact about termite tapeworm fungus moss work is that it goes always forward, eating its own boundaries, and likely as not leaves nothing in its path other than the signs of eager, industrious, unkempt activity. Nature, culture, nature, culture, nature, culture, nature, culture, the so called apes only five million years ago. Yet humans and baboons have more in common than was once believed. Uh, I want to do a second take on that one. The bab. Take three. The baboon. They are shirt tail cousins at best. Humans and baboons made their evolutionary split 25 million years ago. Other higher primates, like gorillas, are real family by comparison. Humans split from the so-called apes only 5 million years ago. Yet humans and baboons have more in common than was once believed. Take three. Four. The baboon. They are shirt-tailed cousins at best. Humans and baboons made their evolutionary split 25 million years ago. Other higher primates, like the gorilla, are real family by comparison. Humans split from the so-called apes only 5 million years ago. Yet humans and baboons do have more in common than was once believed. Uh, five, I'm sorry. The baboon. They are shirt-tailed cousins at best. Humans and baboons made their evolutionary split 25 million years ago. Other higher primates, like gorillas, are real family by comparison. Humans split from the so-called apes only 5 million years ago. Yet humans and baboons do have more in common than was once believed. KOS kids, the kids of survival, the yeah. poor Hispanic kids. Right. Um, yeah, I've heard of them. We're supposedly subjected to real mental torture under Tim Rollins's, you know, guys or whatever. 
here, this is a really cool shot. I guess it's a photo pod, man. You guys can't see. Here, wider angle. From behind, like this. Pod. There's a pod. Which pod? What's that? One more try, man. Lucky, man. That was like pretty, pretty molten there. Okay, hold on. Let me get my scope and put it again. Okay, got that one? Yeah. I zoomed in really close. So you just kind of see the. Uh... Don't get the camera too hot. Okay, I'll go back. Time for posterity, dude. Is that? Yep. There was some burning for a little while, man. Nature, culture, nature, culture, nature versus nature versus culture.
time I go on the flight path. <laughs> It can't stun me now. So, lame duck be. It'll try. Alright. Okay, do it. Yep. Stop. Now, do you want to see a bee on a hand? Oh. You want it like farther you down your arm? Yeah. Oops, there goes one. There's a live one. Okay. Leave it alone. Okay. Yeah. It's a little bit of <sighs> delayed reaction. Fuck. Because the ice wears off. Why? Thank you, B. Yeah, the person who told her about this said that you should always thank the bees after they die. So if you want to okay. look at the welts. Alright, let's we'll see. Can we do the other side? Sure. It's rather time-consuming. This is a lively batch because they're fresh. Ah, oh, my head! You got my head! Ooh. Yeah, I, I need this a lot of bee voices. Bee imitations. <laughs> Don't grab me by my head! Right there, is that good? It's my head! You got my head! It's a bee nightmare. I always end up calling them he, even though they're women. Like all the ones that'll sting are female. All right, let's go. But but we always end up saying he because I don't know it's kind of phallic and stuff what he does there. So and then there's the honey coming out of out of its rear end there. Give you a jar of bees to take home if you want. Yeah, see the thing is, um, that'd be, that might be kind of neat, but I don't know you what don't, I would really do with it. You don't have to do anything. Just watch them and keep them around breakfast time, stuff like that. Poor Merle, though, she told me she has a real, uh, 
Ow! Come on. That one hurts up here. How about if we do one on my neck? Okay. And then that's it. Okay. And then I'll sting you. <laughs> gets a good well that it's doing the best good for your body. Is one of them open? Is one of the jars open? Yeah, they're pretty lively today. Mm-hmm. They like it. The spring is coming. Yeah. We have bees with spring fever. Living is not yet? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Did it hurt? Yeah. Yeah, you got me. Where do you want me to get go oh, next? A couple inches down. And it's also about um, a person that's helping another person. And um, so I think what I'm trying to show is that there's as much of an issue with the person that's having the illness is the person that helps the other person get well. So, um, so something gender related about that, mm -hmm. I think. The bee is angrily buzzing in my ear. And as my dream quietly slips away, I slap it in annoyance. Silence. Then I am pulling on cold blue cotton and goose feathers trapped in nylon. The silly red hat fits comfortably over my ears, and I begin to hum the day's hum. Copper twisting, and I am falling from my home and onto the frigid black tar ribbon which we have tied round all our dwellings. Other bee slappers and ribbon walkers greet me at the steel rails with eyes full of winter and purple lips breathing steam into the wind. Nature, culture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we could find. Uh, this is just yeah. Yeah. Too much. Uh, yeah. But I do with the copy that I was just going to pay okay. some of that. In. Cheers, buddy. And, uh, nice stuff. 